All right, here we go. Six sig tests. Um, pick some X's. Plug them in. So if I plug in one, what's one times negative three? Negative three. Plus three is zero. So the Y is zero. Then you just plot that point. One, zero, dot. Plug in two. Two times negative six. Or two times negative three is negative six. Plus three gives me negative three. So you go two, negative three. Plot a point. Do that for all the X's. You get all the Y's. Plot all the points. And you get your nice happy line. Down here, it's going to be a problem because it has an x squared in it. When the largest exponent is an x squared, it's going to be a problem. Plug in the points. Plug in 0 because it's the easiest. 0 squared is 0. Plus 3 times 0 is 0. Minus 2. So that's 0, negative 2. And that's how I got 0, negative 2. Plug in 1. 1 squared is 1. Plus 1 times 3 is 3, so it's 1 plus 3 is a uh, big fat 4, minus 2 is 2, so I go 1, 2. Do that for all of them. The biggest mistake people make are these negatives. Plug in a negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is going to be positive 1. Negative 1 times negative 3, or times 3 is negative 3 minus 2. So that's 1 minus 3 is negative 2, minus 2 more is negative 4. So negative 1, negative 4. Put a dot. Just remember, a negative times a negative is a positive. That's why that was a positive 1. 